Hello guys, this is Wombo. Welcome to Wombo channel. So let's talk about how to boost your damage in this inflation. So in my opinion, the best thing that you can do is to leveling up. That's it. If you have high level the higher the chances are you going to output more damage than before because that's the logic right higher levels higher damage yeah that's the thing and the next thing is the stats so the three stats that important to gain a lot of damage output in this inflation is combo counter attack and crit for example as you can see my my three stats combo counter attack and crit are higher than the rest in this clone so that's the most important stats to look for to increasing your piece inflation damage so the next one is genie so choosing the right genie can improve your damage a lot for example uh, when I'm going to do this invasion I'm usually equipping these three genies so treasure keeper for uh, increasing attack for 36% uh, ghost general increasing 40% if the enemies HP about above 60 but in practice actually ghost general doesn't care uh, how much uh, HP percentage of the beast invasion it just keep triggering I don't know why but yeah this gene is good for this invasion so the third gene is Tao Wu so this is actually the new genie that I'm implemented before I'm not implemented Tao Wu I implemented I'm using uh, Peacock King to increase my crit so this is stackable 12% up to 5 times so you're getting like a 60 ish percent extra crit but since my crit is already high so I'm not using that Peacock King anymore so I'm just uh, using Tao to increase my counter attack and combo by 28% pretty neat uh, just in case my counter attack is still low that I'm not triggering uh, the counter every single attack that uh, beast hit me so yeah that's the genie so the next important part to increase your damage output is the abilities let me show you so I recommend if you have a giant smite you should equip giant smite but you, if you don't have giant smite you can do the cheaper option leverage why because leverage have a strike for 306 percent attack on at least on my level is level 26 but it's usually higher than the rest of the uh, Tao abilities so yeah pick the one that have highest highest percentage uh, in term of attack or oh, for example this thunderbolt have 320 percent attack but why I recommended the leverage because attack is increased by 20 percent more for two rounds so it's actually uh, it have a great impact damage but it has a great buff to increase your attack 20% is pretty big deal so that's why I'm recommending leverage for newer player or uh, newly created account uh, if you don't have the giant smite if you have a giant smite I highly recommend you you use this giant smite even though it's not tier 2 yet or just tier 1 you just have one signal so just use giant smite too this thing is pretty broken because it increases your crit and crit damage so basically when you're critting you already multiplies your attack 
and then it's gonna amplify by these abilities by 30% for this tire tree levels so yeah for the seagulls for the giant smite seagulls I'm recommending you use the final damage up so there's actually seagulls that design exactly for crit for example these seagulls right crit damage 15% you might think that crit damage up seagulls is the best seagulls to deliver more damage in base invasions but according to my test I have done several tests comparing these seagulls my preferable seagulls is still final damage up it grants me more damage output than crit up seagulls so the second ability is demon seed it strike and flex vulnerable uh, effects on the target and if crit is triggered on the vulnerable foes it will be exploded and grant your crit extra 75% damage that's insane uh, so if you don't have demon seed uh, just pick power steel because each strike your attack is increasing so yeah but demon seed but compared to the demon seed is a long shot demon seed wins so the next ability is affinity so basically this is uh, not really suitable for the beast invasion because this more towards the defense ability but the fact that it has an increasing attack by 11% so yeah we included this because of that effect nothing else so the body uh, you can use the very easy to get shadow fiend because again increasing attack because uh, these two abilities down here is for mostly for defense that's why you are only uh, getting maybe increasing attack percentage not very heavy hitters like demon seed or giant's might kind of damage amplification okay let me talk you about the most important thing that really really increasing your base infection damage is the bloodline especially the dragon type bloodline why As you can see here crit damage is increased by 27% after each critical hit each critical hit guys if you let's let's say for example you hit critical hit first time is 100 right and the next time you hit is 20% more than 100 so it's 100 127 so the next time you hit 127 the next time you hit plus 27 no you times the 127 times 27% again from that 127 so it's kind of a bit like exponential growth in terms of hitting the foes so every time you hit the more you hit the damage is gonna be exposed exponentially increasing so that's why that the dragon bloodline is very important if you aim uh, to increasing your overall damage in this invasion so because I'm um, already have my base invasion uh, attempt depleted today so I'm gonna show you my daily rank so I'm actually using the today's data for the thumbnail is at 40 trillion so basically uh, each attempt I'm barely made uh, 8 or 9 trillion per attempt so yeah that's actually pretty good if I don't using uh, this build that I mentioned before I might not be able to get that number it's more like uh, maybe 10 trillion total 
or even 8 trillion total it's not it's not very big uh, yeah so I hope it helps uh, for increasing your damage in this invasion because the more damage you put out you can rank higher in the daily rank and then you can get better rewards uh, I suggest you shoot minimum like you, you get a top 10 because uh, it has fairly good uh, daily rewards BCL 60 so you can farm the BCLs to summon the beast that you want to summon and for the beast I'm not really recommending anything in beast invasion but if you are have a high level of uh, azure dragon so you should use this azure dragon because it increases your crit by 50% total so it's very good base for peace invasion if you if you have yin long you can also use yin long i'm even using yin long and uh, luan which is defensive uh, beast uh, be just because the uh, attack bonuses on the assisting uh, bonus as you can see here it have a 40% attack bonus just to equip the one so yeah that's my uh, my take on increasing the beast infections output damage cheers